My worry about the programmes potentially stopping is that once they stop, that they'll go, then they won't come back again. Personally, for me, I think um, social media and, and websites are brilliant, and don't get me wrong, I use them all the time, um, as I'm sure everyone else does, every other football fan. But it's not permanent. You don't. Nobody has a box full of their favourite tweets. It's just that reminder of a match, isn't it? You go to a game, and and it's part of it. Part of it is, you know, for me, going with my dad, um, sitting at the front end, watching the game, and then either before the game in the cold or on the way home in the car on the bus or something, is reading the programme, and that's sort of is a part of the whole day and the whole experience. And I guess, I suppose, a younger fan might not have that these days because they've got so many options literally at their fingertips. The problem is that it, it's always still, it's still a, a piece of paper and a magazine and, and you, there's only so much you can do. So like you say, we, this year we've tried to, to, to do the sticker book, or we have done the sticker book, and as you can probably guess, the idea is that you buy the sticker book and then you buy the, um, the programme every week and you have to buy each programme to complete the sticker and then hopefully that, that sends the circulation northwards a little bit. Our programmes are 100 pages and we have, on top of that, we have a 16 page pullout, um, which is for the junior cherries, so that's the extra time feature. Um, from start to finish, I think we normally have about 79 to 80 pages of content and the others is obviously adverts. I normally look at it in about a two week cycle. Generally, you have obviously a home game, then an away game and a home game. So normally during that, after one home game, you're already starting on the next one. But then you have things like Christmas get in the way and you get FA Cup games and stuff and all of a sudden you've got an extra one that you've got to fit in somehow. Um, so you find a way to do it basically. <laughs>